How's it going everybody? Kyle here with Awesome Sauce News. Welcome back to the channel and today I'm going to be doing an unboxing and overview and even a quick little demo of this gamepad from SteelSeries. This is their free mobile wireless controller and despite the name you are going to have to pay money to buy this guy uh, but still an interesting name nonetheless. Um, that's what they're calling it and basically this is just the gamepad for your 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 mobile devices so either your smartphone uh, whether it be Android or iOS uh, it even will work for PC and Mac as well um, pretty sure most of you will probably be using a keyboard and mouse if you're gonna be gaming on those platforms but it is still an option so I'm gonna be doing a demo with my smartphone it's a it's an Android phone so I'm gonna be taking it out in just a bit and testing it out to see how it actually all works um, but it's pretty straightforward other than that like I said Android iPod touch iPhone let me get there iPad PC and Mac it does connect to those devices via Bluetooth, so you won't be tethered to any wires when using this product, which is always nice. And it uh, does have a rechargeable lithium-ion battery, so 10 hours of intensive gaming, 20 hours of casual time. Not too shabby at all. On the back there isn't much, a bunch of uh, description that I'm going to go over in just a bit, and a couple diagrams showing you, yes, it does connect to these devices wirelessly, and that's the, the gamepad layout, which uh, I'm going to show you right now. I quickly want to go over some of the accessories included with this device. So first off, you get your quick start guide, complete with uh, all kinds of pictures to help you through uh, getting started to use this guy, teaching you what different modes that you can enter into, and uh, pretty much the layout of the device. Comes in multiple languages as well. You also get a pamphlet with other Steel Series products listed on it, such as their headphones. Steel Series sticker for, uh, uh, I don't know, representing Steel Series, I guess, anywhere you'd like. And you also get a micro USB charging cable to charge your device. That is. And uh, lastly, for the accessories, you do get a Steel Series uh, fabric pouch. It's very nice. It's got a zipper uh, sealant on it right there. Good for storage and travel. All right, guys, here's the gamepad itself. And uh, I don't know if you can tell in the video, but it does have a very nice matte black finish all around. Um, it does even have a rubbery grip to it so that uh, you, know, you don't accidentally slip this guy out of your hands when you're gaming. Uh, it does have a very similar design as a PlayStation controller. Um, as opposed to the Xbox controller where there's a joystick up here and one down here, you kind of get both of them leveled down below here with the D-pad at, at the top left. You even have the four buttons here to kind of emulate the X, uh, square, triangle, and circle buttons. Um, or, you know, A, B, X, Y if you're talking Xbox. And you do have a left and right bumper up here, two buttons. So uh, keep in mind this guy is extremely small, it fits pretty much in the palm of your hand. Um, so if you have really massive hands, this might not be the best option for you, but it really is uh, probably the most compact device, uh, compact gamepad for that matter, that I've seen on the market so far. Um, so if you are holding it, generally speaking, my index fingers kind of gravitate towards the center um, right here for the, for the two bumper buttons, which is perfectly fine. I think that's actually where they're intended to hit from, because you can still hit them from the outside, but the more outer uh, of the controller you go, it gets significantly harder to press the buttons from uh, from the sides. Now the A and B buttons are kind of interesting. The B button on in one end, in one regard, is just there for you to map a function to in game. So I usually map it as my pause button, so I can just quickly pause the game when I'm playing it. Uh, but it also ties into, uh, it works in tandem with the A button in, in some ways. So the A button for one is a power button. If you hold it down for three seconds, the white LED will start blinking, indicating that the device has been turned on. And then it will continue blinking in a certain way, as you can see. Uh, so it's doing a single blink right now, and that blink is actually indicating that this device is currently in gamepad mode. Now you want to be in gamepad mode if you're going to be using this device with any uh, Android device or PC or Mac. Uh, if you want to go uh, use, this, use this guy with an iOS device, for example, you're going to need to switch to arcade mode. And the way you do that is you hold A and B down for three seconds until the LED light uh, indicates that you've switched to arcade mode. But before you do that, you need to do it when the device is powered off. So I'm going to hold down the A button again to make sure the device is completely powered down. And then you want to hold down A and B for three seconds till it boots up again. And now you can see the, the LED is actually doing a double blink. And that's going to, that basically indicates that you're in arcade mode. So now you can go ahead and use this with an iPhone, iPad, or uh, iPod Touch for that matter. So that's pretty much it. Um, I think I pretty much covered all the basics for the controller design layout. So with that said, why don't we test this guy out with my Android smartphone? All right, guys, I know I said we were gonna do a gaming demo right now, and we still are, but I did really quickly wanna show you how quick and easy it is to pair this to your smartphone. So like I said, I have my Android phone right here. I would test this on multiple devices if I had any more than, than uh, this phone, but unfortunately this is all I have right now. So you want to turn Bluetooth on, 
go into your additional settings, your additional Bluetooth settings, and wait for the available devices to show that uh, that gamepad. The gamepad should pop up. There it is, Zmote Steel Series Free. You're gonna tap that. Make sure you always tap that. And uh, now you can see it is paired. All right, let's move on to the gaming demo. This is the moment you've all been waiting for. I'm gonna load up Dead Trigger. It's a pretty awesome game for your Android device. I think they also have it for iOS devices as well. Um, but this is one of the games that is compatible with this gamepad here. And if you want a list of all compatible games, I'm gonna put a link in the description below. You can go ahead and check that out. It's just a Steel Series website. I will let you know what games you can actually play with this guy regardless of which platform you might be playing it on. So right here, I'm kind of already in the menu here. I'm gonna to go to options, and you'll see that the custom gamepad option has has come, has appeared down here. So you're gonna hit custom gamepad. Now that's that's pretty much just an option because, that, that option only appeared because I've connected this device to it, otherwise it wouldn't really show up. Uh, and that's pretty much gonna be true to any compatible game uh, for this device, is you're gonna have a list of uh, mapping options for all of your keys, for all of your buttons and all of your functions uh, in the game. So you can see I've already mapped you know, um, my fire button uh, to button seven, which is the right bumper. And in the quick start guide, it'll tell you what number each of these uh, buttons are labeled as. So everything's like, you know, this is like button three, this is button four, um, but it's all, it's all in the quick start guide, so just reference that. Uh, but it really is pretty effortless to map these, so you can just tap on whichever one you wanna change so I can just, with this guy, just tap here, and I just remapped it to button seven. It's still the same, but uh, just an example of how easy it is to map all of the uh, the different key functions to the game. And uh, yeah, but that's that's the boring stuff, right? Let's get the boring stuff out of the way and let's move on to the game itself. So I'm gonna save and exit here, go back, and let's see, is that close enough for you guys? Can you actually see the screen? I know it's really ref reflective. I'm, I'm at a new place and I'm still figuring things out. Hopefully I'll fix that very soon, probably by the next video. Oh, I'm getting, I'm getting killed. How do I, how do I do this? I have no idea. Oh, he bit me. He bit my hand. Oh, now this guy's biting me. I'm doing really bad at this game. I uh, put myself in a bad spot. I probably shouldn't have paused at that moment. But here you can see I'm actually, um, I'm actually killing fools. And uh, it looks like this controller is working beautifully, actually. It's very responsive. Uh, there's no input lag whatsoever. It's it's just instantaneous. And uh, it's actually not as horrible as I thought it would be. I'm sorry. When I first saw it, I was like, this is way too small to even function. Um, but, you know, it's, it's working pretty fine for me. And I feel like, well, this is my third time using it for, I guess, like a five-minute period. And, um, and already I'm kind of getting the hang of it. So I feel like if I were to play it or use it even more, I, it would become even more natural. All in all, it's a very straightforward, uh, very straightforward, uh, very simple, easy to use, and highly effective little gamepad. I don't know why I'm showing you my phone. We're talking about this now. Go away, wallet. Uh, but uh, that's that's gonna do it for this overview, guys. Once again, this has been Steel Series free mobile wireless controller. Once again, it is not free. That's just the name of it. Um, but there you have it. I'm Kyle with Awesome Sauce News. Thank you guys for checking out this video and subscribing to the channel. Uh, and I'll see you all in the next video.